Hey everybody, thought I'd show you all what I'm working on today. I've been doing some screen printing with my little screen, little screen for little Ben. This is my, uh, this little center circle is my on my back, it's one of my tattoos. It's uh, a design my buddy came up with, my buddy Josh, that is my my signature and he just kind of randomized it and it digitally and I like this one the best because it kind of uh, it's kind of has a lot of different symbols and meanings within it just randomly that I see that just to fit perfectly and then a bad idea is kind of my line of stuff it's not art necessarily so like clothes and pins and crap like that and of course benji.net if you haven't visited yet please stop by benji.net anyway i was uh messing with this today just needed something to do and i thought i'd test it out and so when i test or when i you know get one of these screens ready to go you know, I really don't want to go too crazy until I kind of test out uh, how it's going to, you know, if it's going to print right or whatnot. The main, the main issue with the screen is uh, getting the right kind of <laughs> squeegee for the job. Uh, silver was the first color I worked with, so you'll see that kind of is what faded the most. I like to work with light colors first when I'm testing because essentially whatever I screw up I end up using later for something else anyway so I kind of like I kind of think like that now what kind of color should I start with that way I can use it for an overlay or an underlay or underwear or whatever the hell. Whatever. Anyway on this uh, this was a uh, transparency printout. I printed this in my copier and printer or whatever and uh, decided to use that. So there. Here are some craft tags that I like. They wherever and let paint and ink and stuff get on and then you know I've been messing with the uh, So you'll see here some of them. Just, here's one of the first ones. It's all blotched. You can barely see it really. I don't know why. I like this color and the shape because it reminds me of the uh, Price is Right wheel grand prize game thingy. Is that what it is? This is on some sticker paper. This one turned out pretty good. Once I got it down, um, I was able to be able to get it nice and clean. But you can see there's still a an issue with kind of getting the ends on there good because this is such a small area. I had to find something that got this as cleanly as possible. This was this tube of acrylic was one of the first things that I used. Works pretty well. Actually leaves a nice rigid. Uh, Texture on it too, it turned out pretty cool. And I've been using these as well. I have a number of these that came with uh, some of my other silk screens, I think, or frames. They came with something, and I thought they just did fit perfectly in here and just went. Kush. So that's what I've been doing today. Uh, here are some. Show the buttons I did not. Here are some. Other stuff I screen printed on to say. These are what focus. These are buttons for um well they're they're templates for buttons so I can cut out and and make some buttons. So these were you know, 
just kind of filled up with whatever. And this was blank. You can see again that the silver wasn't quite to N E, but no T. And then finally, I kind of started getting that bad idea. Some of these, I'm sure they don't. This is finished. This is finished. It's finished. But, you know. I don't know. You okay with her, G? Why won't you focus? Well, this is a boring video. I had music going earlier. But it was loud as hell, and I couldn't get it to play right, so this is all you get. Thanks for watching.